Hooray! Uh, okay, so this is, uh, my name is Brett, I'm the creator of Super Science Friends, and I'm here with Kevin, who's the writer of several episodes of Super Science Friends. Hello! And this is Laurel, who's the board artist hey. of all the Super Science Friends. Uh, yeah, and we're going to do some commentary. Whee! Uh, There's our good old... Say me and Laurel take agreed it, to not it. watch the show <laughs> for like because yeah. we got surprised with doing the commentary, so we're like, we're gonna watch this fresh. Okay. And we haven't seen this in that was, that was well, a been like years. <laughs> I thought you guys were prepared. No, we purposely were unprepared so that it would be like real and raw and <laughs> honest. Uh, have we seen all these characters yet? Probably not. No, we haven't seen uh, our spy lady, Matahari. Oh, except in the comments. Uh, I do know. I remember we had like. A whole backstory thing where like Churchill was capturing the super science friends and we actually was, like, went in them. and did a scene like a scene for each one that was each a couple minutes long. Yeah, like uh, what was it? T Tesla was like having dinner with the pigeon. Yeah, that's right. He was like delicately cutting the meat. Yeah. And Tapudi was like haggling with some guy who wanted a potion. She just tosses him oh in the God, cauldron. That's right. It was like some some like African prince was, yeah. or something. The one I was really sad we lost was the uh, was the Freud one where this guy's talking about how he's got abandonment issues and then while well, he's not looking, Churchill comes and snatches <laughs> Freud away and he just goes like for fuck's sake. <laughs> that's right. I think Mary Curious is pretty much the same, just briefer. Yeah, because these are so dense. There's even like specific posing choices and stuff, like the gesture of Mary Curie's yeah. uh, radium. Well, we actually had Churchill, at, at one of the versions we had, we had him actually calling, like role calling them out by name yeah. and introducing them himself. It ended up being like seven minutes of the episode. It was just really boring. We were like, maybe not. Oh, we missed little Philip. Little Philip before he was little Philip. Was he not little Philip in that? No, he was just a kid. We, we came up with the Philip uh, story arc afterwards. After and just so happened that it worked out that he was blonde. Yeah. Good thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the little like finger on the on the cigar oh, animation like, you added that yeah. we were all just like, it's perfect. I animated Churchill's like lip sync stuff, and I just really went all out on his cigar because I thought I w I remember. We were told, like, oh, you just got to keep the lip sync, like, super flat and on symbol. And I was like, I'm going to put go something on. special <laughs> into this. And I knew that he had a stutter in real life, so I was trying to make all of his lip movements, like, really uh, poppy. Mm -hmm. And, like, that he was chewing on his words. Well, yeah, you can still see it in the, in the mouth kit. Yeah. Uh, someone on YouTube brought up the fact that none of the apples he talks about are actually native to England. Because they're the only ones left. The only ones left are the import apples. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It checks out. Yeah, timeline in the show is like perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I should point out that like when we made this episode, we didn't really know how to do this show or like make a show. Well, I was gonna say it was really evident in that scene just just passed because. The way it was written before was that everyone got a line. It had like the Power Ranger syndrome. Yeah. Yeah. And so we, yeah, when I was given a chance to like rewrite some stuff, it was just like, all right, not everyone needs a line. We're going to pick like the best two of everyone. And then like, and that's how Darwin ended up like written out of <laughs> some Yeah, this thing's a proper Frankenstein. I can see all the like patches from different versions we did all kind of stitched together. Yeah. There were some sequences like this one where we were like, that's got to be in the show. Yeah. We just we'll figure out a way to make it work. We'll just add this scene to tie those two scenes together. Oh, the, the speed lines that we were going to use every episode <laughs> that we didn't, never used again. <laughs> I used them in what? the advertising for the Kickstarter. <laughs> oh, that's true. Wait, they did, make, they did make a comeback. Is it? Well, did we they? reused that sequence in episode two. Is the time travel, yeah, but uh, not the... Not the, like, action speed lines for the fight scenes. I was going to say, the show was a lot more time travel heavy before, and now it just, everything kind of takes place on that day, and so... <laughs> Someone asked me about that, but it's like, episode, uh, episode, f what is it, five, six, and seven are all, like, super time travel heavy, so... We're yeah. Get, we're getting back to, it comes back, back to our roots. Okay, five, six, and here comes legs popping off, unless we fixed it. Oh. Did we fix it? I think we fixed it for this version. Nice. 
Anyway, if you watch the version on YouTube, those likes just pop off halfway through. Uh, this will give a clue into the mind of a director that, like, you don't care about everything that's going right. <laughs> just the one frame that pops up. There's always something that gets away, though. There's a, actually a couple things besides the likes in this one. Like, right about now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there goes... Oh, shit. I, I also really like... Someone did, like, a custom Darwin walk here. That he's walking like a... Yeah, idiot. they just took it from the model. <laughs> and then it never gets used like that again. He's got a run where he's, like, actually, like, running on his, on his, uh, like, on his ape knuckles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the legs are gone by there, by that point. Finding some apples would be a good start. This part of the orchard seems oh, man. This doesn't get any jokes when we watch it in a theater. Because no one knows who the fuck Tapruti is when they're watching this episode. Oh, man. That's too bad. Oh, yeah, because they don't know she's a big perv. So yeah. it just reads as, like, a really weird thing to say. Like, this episode is totally based on, like, oh, my God, Nikola Tesla. I've heard of that guy. Look at him. He's cool. But with her, it's like no one's heard of her. And when we were making it, we had all this backstory that ended up all getting cut out. So at the time, it might have made a little more sense because we had some lead up. This part gets laughs every time, though. Never disappoints. So beautiful. It also started the whole, there's got to be like a musical number to each episode. Yeah. For, for the better. We didn't put it in episode two. I still regret it. I'm like tempted to go back and swap out those end credits or something. Yeah, it's the, it's the like 8-bit song, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Because the, the Stars of Old doesn't have a, uh, an episode that goes with it, so we could always put that there. <gasps> it's Sasha. I was going to say, do we talk about how Van complaints <laughs> were enough that we finally were like, Fine, we'll regret recast this. Well, yeah. I don't know if this is the recast version or not. Cause we did no, that's no, definitely no, no, no. Sasha's but, voice. But, okay, yeah. Yeah, but the, the voice actress got changed. I, I don't think they got changed because of the complaints. No, 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 it was just like... It was just because she wasn't working here anymore. Yeah. yeah. We realized that maybe we shouldn't just grab random studio members to be the voice I actors. think she did a really, really good job. <laughs> she, she did. did. She Everyone really else did. that we grabbed did, it, did an amazing job. Darwin is like irreplaceable. Yeah. When he was our editor at the time. Yeah. Man, this the joke of the apples like just missing him. I knew like from day one. I was like, that's got to be in there. That and nobody fun. picks up on it. No, people oh. pick up on it. It was just it's it's a hard one to like write down yes. and, and make it funny. But yeah. once you see it, you get it. The world. Which he thought of when an apple fell on his head. Not true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah, this show is actually like stylistically changed quite a bit look how small freud is and we're using his close-up model oh the line weight is all over the place in episode one drives me crazy i want to go back and fix it all me too let's do a remastered <laughs> <laughs> no one's gonna notice any of the oh this is like the well, oldest no. animation in this episode because yeah. i know i did it for like a, a test oh, like it yeah. yeah like a year before actual animation started well, all the fight stuff is, like, the only thing from the original, I think, that's left. Yeah, because we started animating the fights before, like, the script was locked. Before we yeah. even knew what the episode was about. We were like, we know they're going to be fighting these so Just drop a whole rules. bunch of fights yeah. in an orchard. Oh, here, oh, that arm. Yeah, here comes the, uh, the, we've got to explain everything because this didn't quite work out. So oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> that smoke ring is also me, like, trying to throw in fancy animation. <laughs> it's good. I like that smoke yeah. ring. No, like I'm just oh, and made him fall asleep. <laughs> and I love that he he takes a a completely lit cigar out of his pocket. Yeah, that's what that's what car. I remember. There it is. Ready to go. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's even got a lit cherry and everything. Yeah, so I think I can't remember, but we were down to the wire. It was close to the end of production, and there was like an option that wasn't this, and it was like, okay, if people get it without us having to show this then we'll not use it and then nobody got it so we had to put it in yeah. i liked it because uh, i just ended up doing like a bunch of research about the cosmonaut program and then we figured out like all that cool stuff that the original plan was to like go to mars instead like instead of the moon they got like goaded into a moon race yeah I mean, and then like probably for the best. I mean, they would have never made it. They would have never. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but yeah, and then we found like the historical guy that was like in charge of the actual program. It was Korolev. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we make him kind of a villain here. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he was fine. 
Also, like... I mean, technically, he's not the villain. It's these guys who just go, like... I know, but he, like, kicks them into a nuts. rocket like a jerk. Like, I'm sure he's cooler than Just that. giving them the good old kick in the pants they need. <laughs> this is where we see Churchill's blood... bloodthirst. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the the biggest change starts here. Where'd Chaputi go? So, <laughs> so that shot right where they jump forward, I got handed this episode, and it was, we'll say, four minutes longer, and in between them standing there answering the phone and Darwin jumping forward and slamming, yeah, there was a whole... it was four minutes of just cut fight scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. We were like, at, from the beginning, we were like, all right, most of it'll be the fight scene, because that'll be the funniest part. We basically just kept their, like, special moves. Yeah. I love this. I don't know how many people catch it, but you can see him kind of like humping in the bottom. Yeah. There. <laughs> and now watch. He's gone. Where did he go? Because <laughs> it's a total stitch job. Yeah. That was like... I the... don't know. It kind of just works, though. Yeah. That was the most shit-hot animation we had at the time. Oh, the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bell. Oop, what was that? A zip fan? It didn't quite work out. <laughs> <laughs> or that tracking <laughs> mishap. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> no one wants to interrupt this scene. Because <laughs> it's, cause it's priceless. We're all enamored. Yeah, we're all hypnotized. I like that, <laughs> oh, that walk. <laughs> Just the like, one. Yeah, and then this was a thing that we never used again, which was when she uses her powers too much, she, like, starts to mutate. Yeah, yeah. that was her whole backstory, was she was, like, the healer, but then every time she used it, she got more and more corrupt. Yeah. She was supposed to hulk out. I think we had a whole episode written around that that just disappeared. Well, because I, I, wrote, I wrote, like, online about it, and some woman emailed me, and she was like, that's not what Marie Curie's all about. And... I mean, no, that's not all she was about, but... I she love... did use her x-ray powers in a medical sense. I love how oblivious uh, Isaac Newton is through this whole thing. <laughs> you think you've won. Yeah, yeah, here, here it comes. <laughs> we were in this exact moment. room when we wrote this in. <laughs> It's like, what if we just cut everything that comes after this? The parts of the show that had actually been animated at this I was point. Say, I feel like we need to post a link to, to yeah. the ending that it got cut. It was done! <laughs> but this ending just, we talked about it. We just kept, everyone just kept piling on more like intensity jokes about like how anime we could make it. And eventually we're like, alright, we're going to cut. All this beautiful animation. No, it was it was one hundred percent the right choice. Yeah, here comes. <laughs> and his one drifting pupil. I love that it gets people right up to this point. That they, yeah, any they, person that I've seen watch this, they, with all the lead up we have, nobody sees it coming. No one actually expects his head to explode. Yeah, which I feel like we're forecasting it so. Hard. I know. I thought that was like, it was kind of meant to be part of the joke. Oh, the splurty blood. And then I guess what happens here is like we didn't know what to do with them, so we were just I think like, it's like a Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. now there's no reason for them to go yeah. back in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, how does it turn out? I need to check the history books. I thought that was so funny at the time, and it's like it's, I still it, think it's great. <laughs> it's sort of funny. <laughs> I still think it's funny, but I I feel like a lot of people miss it. Because he's not actually that different looking. <laughs> yeah. And then here comes... So the, the people we're about to see were uh, the top donators on our Kickstarter. So they got to die in the episode. They were on the ground floor. Yeah, th this is me hedging bets on that we were going to get so many complaints about, like, this isn't scientifically accurate. And, like, <laughs> you were just cutting it off at the past. And said, uh, like, yeah, we know. We wrote a show. It's funny. <laughs> I can't remember whose voice that is. It's either mine or it's Fred Kennedy's. I can't remember. It's not you. Not to mention, yeah, me. Oh, maybe. That's your. Isn't That's that your the brother? Backer, right? Yeah, that guy. That that guy is Joe. He was the actual backer, and he comes back in episode two to do the voice of uh, Edison. Yeah. Because his voice is so goddamn good. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. So it's I guess a masterpiece. That's it. That's <laughs> commentary on episode one. Thanks for joining us. Come back next time when we explore episode two and all its wonderful backstory. Oh, wait. I forgot how long this is. <laughs> yeah. We need to talk about it's more because stuff. because look how many people need it. <laughs>I also wanted to get the whole song in here too, which we abandoned as of episode three. I was like, nah, they can watch the music video. Oh yeah, that means we don't have a music video for episode two. No, not for two. We've got the Stars of Old one though. I guess that counts. There is one for each episode. Okay, goodbye.